Hi. In last class, we completed our first chapter. Now, today, we are going to start our second chapter, that is central force motion. Before starting central force motion, we want to know what is central force. So, first of all, we are going to discussing what is central force. To define this central force, here I am using one example. That is, consider the case of sun and earth. So, please imagine this is sun and represented by the letter S and this is our planet earth E and this is the center of earth and this is the central point of sun. We already know the earth is rotating around the sun in a particular orbit. What is the reason? Because due to the gravitational force of attraction between the sun and earth. So the sun is attracted earth by using its gravitational force and this amount of force can be write as the gravitational force Fg is equal to G and if the mass of Sun can be represented by capital M and the mass of Earth can be represented by small m then gravitational force Fg is equal to G mass of sun in the mass of earth divided by the distance between the center of sun and earth and that can be represented by r so according to inverse square law divided by r square so the gravitational force of sun on earth fg is equal to g m m divided by r square but actually, the gravitational force is a vector quantity. This is a vector quantity. But here, we only represent the magnitude of the gravitational force. And if you want to convert it as a vector form, we want to add one more term. That is R cap, the unit vector R cap means the gravitational force is a function of distance between the object. So Fg is a function of R. So here we add the R cap term because it is a vector quantity. And also we should add negative sign here. And this negative sign represents attractive force because the sun attracts the earth towards the center of sun towards the center of sun the sun attract the earth towards the center of sun so this is an attractive force so we should add negative sign to represent the attractive force and this is the magnitude this term represent the magnitude of the gravitational force and this is the vector quantity uh, r cap represent the direction direction of magnetic sorry direction of gravitational force so this is the direction of gravitational force in the case of earth and sun the gravitational force is directed towards the center of sun this is central force understand what is central force central force on a object is the force that directed along a line that directed along a line joining the object and the origin of the force 
center of force center of force on an object is a force that is directed along a line join the object and the origin of the force so this type of force is known as central force another example electrostatic force this is gravitational force and another example is electrostatic force what is electrostatic force same what if we consider a proton or positively charged particle and another particle which has negative for example electron so we placed an electron and a proton in a distance of r so electron and proton will attract each other so this is also a attractive force and we can define the active force just like as gravitational force same way and if we consider another electron and electron these two electron are separated by a distance r then there is a repulsive force between the two electrons so these type of forces are known as central force in the case of gravitational force it's a attractive force so we can we should add the negative sign in the case of electrostatic force there may be negative or positive so we can represent the force of electrostatic force is equal to k if the charge q plus q and if it is negative q uh, or it is q1 and q2 then q1 q2 divided by r square electrostatic force is also a inverse square law and vector r cap this is the magnitude of the electrostatic force and r cap represent the direction of the central force right and this may be positive or negative because may be attractive or repulsive right so this is central force clear okay 